Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Chanel Marche, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So, I'm going to be talking about this dream that I had again about Beyonce. And I believe the reason why I had another dream about her is because, you know, um, whenever I dream something, I then get curious about other believers or other people who have had the same dream or something similar. So, I began to search just to be curious about what others are seeing as well and if they are dreaming what I'm dreaming. A lot of the times that's what I do after I have a dream and that's what I did. Um, I was searching other videos to see if anybody else have had any dreams about Beyonce. And so I don't watch too many, but um, I watched a couple and I saw this um, young lady talking about what the Lord has showed her about not only Beyonce, but her husband as well. It was very detailed, insightful uh, dream that um, God gave her. So that was the last dream I watched. Um, and then I just turned it off. And this is why I believe that maybe, perhaps, that's why I had another dream about her. Um, but anyways, last night, um, or was it in the wee hours? Yeah, it was in the wee hours of this morning, February 8th of 2022. And in this particular dream, I was not at my house. Okay. I was not at my house. I was at somebody else's house. But anyways, I had received, Beyonce had sent me a it looked like a celebratory gift box set or something of the sorts um but inside of this gift box it was a lot of things like a lot of good gifts like i had tickets to the um basketball game to hockey games and they were like sky box um, seating. I had a lot of um, gift cards. Just anything in the city I had access to in this box that she had sent me. A lot of nice gifts and everything like that. And I think there was a personalized little letter that she included with it. Just basically telling me, I uh, hope. I can't remember what was said, but it was nothing mean or nothing as such. And and I'm just going through this stuff and looking through all that she had sent me. And I was wondering how in the world did she find out where I am? Okay. And I was like, okay. She sent all this stuff. Oh, okay. So here's what I couldn't believe next. In one part of the letter or in another section, she had put, oh, and I want to wish you a happy birthday. Beyonce had my birthday. She knew my birthday. She said, um, I want to wish you a happy birthday for your upcoming birthday. And she put my birth date on there. She knew my birth date. And she also said, and I also want to uh, wish you a happy anniversary for your uh, upcoming anniversary. She had me and my husband's anniversary date. And she also congratulated me on something else that I was going to get. I believe it was in reference to like a house or something like that. She knew my personal information. Okay. Now, she knew what area because the, the tickets, the basketball tickets and the um, hockey tickets, they were in the location where I was, but she didn't have my address. Okay. But she knew my birthday 
and she knew um my anniversary date precisely and she put it she put both my birth date and my anniversary date saying i just want to wish you a happy birthday upcoming birthday and for your anniversary now it's a great thing that it don't matter if she did know my address or whatever it doesn't matter because she knew she could not send that to my house she knew not to send that to my house and that it couldn't be sent to my house because see here this is where God resides this is where God dwells this is where God's light is in this house and she knew she cannot you can't she cannot come here she cannot send nothing here she knew that now she may have known those details and everything like that But she does not, she cannot come up in here, nor send anything here. Because this is, this is God's dwelling place. This is where he dwells. So she cannot come where light is. Darkness does not come nowhere near where the light is. They cannot, they cannot, especially when it comes to your personal space. Immediately when I woke up, I said, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus and I reject, I renounce and I rebuke anything as far as whatever she's trying to give me. I rejected it. I renounced it and I rebuked it. And it's just so crazy how God just gives you a heads up. I'm going to do another video. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to do another video on, um, just, um, guarding your space and being mindful and careful of, um, the things that you listen to and watch. I'm going to do another video after this one, but, um, we know what time it is with her. We know what she's about, what her husband's about. So I would really encourage you guys to not even click on videos about her because you don't want to, in a spiritual realm, give any ammunition or not even any ounce of acknowledgement. Don't even spend an ounce of your time looking at videos as such and like I said the only reason why I searched that in is because I was wanting to know what others were dreaming whenever I dream something that's what I do but I will not be searching out any more videos it doesn't matter at this point who's had videos about her do not even give energy into talking about her or entertaining what other people are saying yes you know you give heed give warnings but just leave it at that Because, no, she doesn't need any more attention or whatever as such. I would really encourage you guys to just, we know what time it is, pray and keep it moving. But that is just, and and that is why I think I dreamt that. Because I was listening to um, people talk about the dream that they've had about her. So then that gave permission or I don't know, I renounce, I rebuke it and I reject it and I plead the blood of Jesus. It don't matter. This is why that came into my dream. But anyways, I thought that I would share this with you guys. I hope you guys be blessed until the next time. You guys be easy. Ciao. Bye bye.